was a dark shots and today we're gonna be reviewing the Transformers Kingdom Scorpionock and there he is in I don't have and I don't have the packaging sorry bros so here is Scorpionock and it's from Beast Wars not from G1 so it's just a reuse in a name perfect because he's a scorpion so let's take a close here at the claws huh I'm in the claws you got purple. <coughs> you got purple for the claws right there. Right there. The arms are just forming the arms with the scorpion. You got the head. That's nice sculpted detailing. Right there. You got the scorpion details. You got the scorpion legs though. Painted in red. The tail. The tail and the tip of the tail is painted red. So here's the top, here's the bottom. The legs are transforming oddly, in my opinion. Anyway, he does have visible heat syndrome. Hi, well, you're a beast, you're supposed to hide your head. He slides as sliding things should. Now for articulation wise, the claws can go, they're full articulated because the arms, they're fully articulated, you can pose it however you want. You can open up the claws and you can see it's that little bead here, it's that little bead here, it's from the, uh, from the, uh, from the toy, toy I get. He also does have the double missile claw right there, which is, they're quite removable, which is, they're quite removable. If you wanted to, you're just gonna keep them in here. The legs, the legs are on ball joint. This leg's on a ball joint. Both of these legs are on ball joint. And these legs are on ball joint. So you can pose them for however you want. The tail, the, this section of the tail does not move. But this tail does move. And this tip of the tail is on a ball joint. Pretty much a better articulation than, pretty much a better articulation than, who do I? Pretty much a better articulation than Grimlock. Now, since there's not nothing else to talk about the, about the Scorpion mode, now let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So, first things you want to do is that you want to take this leg, and you want to bring that down, like so, and there you have a Lego done. Second best thing is not like the first. You want to take this leg, and you want to. Pull this out. Yeah. You. Come out of there. There you go. You want to take this leg. Bring that down. You want to rotate these legs forward. Since the purple piece is facing that way. You want to take the feet. Bring them up. You want to take this section. You want to take the tail. Bring it up. That allows you for coins. <coughs> Sorry. You want to take the scorpion head. And you want to. Oh wait no. I have to bring this up, I fold it in, and bring it back in, like so. You have to take this section, rotate this around. And you can see here, I'm gonna get the light in. You see this clip that goes in somewhere. Until I feel like clip. It's it's a little difficult to do, but hey, it's just Scorpionock. There you go. And then close the chest back up. So we pretty much had the legs all done. Now let's finish up the back. You want to take these legs. You want to rotate them in. Rotate them in. Rotate. And his tip of the tail falls off. And then we plug you back on. So you don't fall off again. Oh yeah. You want to collapse the, the legs in. Want to rotate this in, rotate this leg in, and rotate this leg up, and rotate this leg up. So pretty much everything is almost done. And you want to take the, you want to take these arms, bring them down, rotate. You have your arm done. Second verse, same as the first. Bring your arm down. Bring your arm down. Rotate. And then you have a second arm all done. And you want to bring this up. And then just stand them up, 
correctly. So there you have Scorpionak and his robot move. And he looks good. Actually, you like this guy. When it first, when is the first time transforming this guy at school? I said odd uh, transformation. But no, this is actually an enjoyable transformation to mess with. I really do like this Corpinuck. So let's take a look at the head. Very beast doors. Head sculpt. The head is all like grumpy and everything. Yeah, they all have visor, gold, gold accents, and a purple chin. For some reason on Android, isn't Android's by the way. For some reason on Android, he doesn't like to close it and like it leaves a little gap there. You have the purple shoulders, you have the gold for the forearms, claw hands, the chest, the gold in the middle, nice gold for the shin guards. So that's pretty much it. Articulation wise, the head is on a ball joint, so you can look, you can look through 360, you can look a bit upward. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, I'm just gonna go through 360. You got an elbow joint right there. And you got your, you got your, you got your wrist. And he still has the claws. Eh, I'm the claw. He has a waist rope. Well, he has a waist, but the tail is preventing it. Legs kick forward, they kick back. And he has a rotational joint right there due to transformation. And he has an ankle toe. You can break his ankles if you want to. You can bring his toes now to the transformation. The purple piece, the gray piece is there, and the uh, the purple piece and the purple heel spur is there too. It's due. It's all likely due to the transformation. So there you have Kingdom Scorpionock, and um, I like this little dude. I think I like this little dude. I mean, I'm not planning to get one, but. Hopefully I will eventually one soon. I'm not I'm not getting sandstorm. He's just bad. I'm not getting sandstorm. He's just bad. But when I saw the toy version of Scorpionock, I was like, I want that. The creatures collide. So there you have Kingdom Scorpionock. If you didn't see my Transformers reviews, check those out. If you didn't see my uh If you didn't see my my SNG4 reaction, check those out as well. And this is Dark Harvest saying. See you later in my dark shots.